Hey everyone, welcome back to Opening Boxes with Jazza, because that's my vlog now. Remember the last video where I opened up this box and played my first ever vinyl records? There's one over here that I'll be opening in a future video. Stay tuned. In fact, subscribe for that. But I got a gift and I'm really excited to open it. All right, you ready? As much as I joke about the whole unboxing thing, like, I do kind of love that I get to do this with you because sometimes, like, I used to just sort of get the stuff and open it up and enjoy it quietly by myself, but I like sharing it. It's really fun. And I've been told about what this is and I'm really excited to see it and share it with you. So, for context, I recently got tickets to go to the launch event slash uh, premiere of the Transformers movie, which I really enjoyed. Bloody got some Transformers. Rise of the Beasts. The kids are going to love these. <laughs> Rise of the Beasts in cinemas, June 22nd. Hey, you should go see Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This video is not sponsored by Transformers Rise of the Beasts, but I did go see it for free and got some cool gifts. Oh my god, there's chocolate! <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. I was about to be excited about something else, but I got sent chocolate. Oh yeah. Bumblebee style. Mm, okay, check this out. I got Transformers Kicks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. All right, floor vlog, you ready? I have Transformer shoes. This is so, so cool. They look great. <laughs> they actually look really cool. Back in our parents' day, it would have been frowned upon to indulge in the things you enjoy, enjoyed as a child. You would have to do it quietly and guiltily. Whereas now it's just like, yeah, I play like board games and, and freaking Dungeons and Dragons and I go see a Transformers movie and I make, I draw pictures for my job and make silly videos and I get cool shoes for making those silly videos. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, I have legitimately eaten half a block, half a block of chocolate already, ah, and I don't regret it. Now it's been a while since I've done question of the day stuff, so uh, I want to start doing those better again. But to do that, I need to see more questions. So uh, Q colon instructions are in the description. Uh, leave your questions, and I can get back into doing question of the day stuff with you guys again. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I will take a question of the day. It's a little bit specifically picked. Um, the artist straight up video a couple videos back asked what uh what happened to those fancy bags you were working on well that is indeed what uh some upcoming vlogs are going to be about i uh, i will give you the little teaser update uh the final prototype arrived i vlogged the experience of checking that out i don't want to spoil it for you except to say hell yeah uh gave it the big thumbs up. They went on to continue making them. That box has something to do with that. That's all I'll say. So we'll leave it there. Uh, otherwise, I do want to just add like a little update as well, since we're just chatting. Oh my God, that was so freaking good. Um, so I'm trying something different with the main channel at the moment. I'm a little nervous. YouTube is a, is a challenging beast. I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years. It's gone through all sorts of changes over those years. I've always had to adapt and figure out what the changes are and how to adapt with that. I've had a feeling for a while that YouTube is favoring quality over quantity and seeing channels sort of do less output but get higher performance on more sporadically on videos. I had in the past done three videos a week, if you could believe it. And at the time we had less employees. So I had like one editor who them and myself were editing three videos a week. It's insane to sort of think back on. Now we've been doing two videos a week for many years. Um, it's been really hard to maintain, especially with all these side things that I'm, I'm doing, like the like the bag thing I updated you on, like a, the, the tiles you saw. I'm getting up once a week at 5 a.m. and getting up at 7 a.m. every day to just keep up with emails and general admin stuff so I can spend the days filming and then working on uh, the channels and sort of building and maintaining the studio. But it's been a lot and it's been a lot to the point where it's been really hard to maintain a quality baseline in the two videos a week. Uh, to the point where in the last few months, I really felt like it was, 
half of my videos were like rushed reactions rather than the things I'm choosing to do. I was doing a lot of the things I was doing as a result of a lack of time or uh, as a result of plans having to change due to things outside of my control. And that happened enough to the point where it was becoming really consistent and hurting the performance of the channel. channel. And I ne ne really needed to sort of rethink that. It's a hard decision because in the past, navigating YouTube like that is much more straightforward when it's only you and one or two other people. Now there's like a dozen people working in this building, which is insane and cool and I'm so lucky. Um, but it also means like that's a dozen people whose income I'm responsible for. And doing something like dropping the output of content by half, like it's no small adjustment. It's a risk um, because we could so far predict, you know, can we maintain, can we like work with what we're doing? Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a dive and hoping that the parachute works and, and things go really well. Side note, like on that topic, I should say, I'm really excited about the, the videos that we're producing. So you will have seen them start to roll out ever since the Pokemon, giant Pokemon card Charizard video that by the time this vlog came out would have been a week or two ago. Um, from that point on, like that is my landmark of like from here on, we're doing a video a week and we're seeing how we go for a month or two. Um, I'm really hoping it works because in production, it feels so much better to really like lean into it. So I'm interested in your perspective as a viewer. Um, have you felt yourself disengaging from content or clicking less because of a large amount of output and the amount of options you have? Or, yeah, I don't know, I'm just interested in your experience. But I, I just wanted to update you there because, hey, like, you know, this is a great format to communicate with you guys. So aside from sharing some of the random cool personal stuff, that I get to enjoy with you. I also want to share some of the random cool personal uh, journey stuff with YouTube. So thanks for watching, interest in your feedback and your, and your comments and your thoughts on all that. Um, and also uh, your questions, question of the day, leave in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe, bye.